Now let's have a look at some of the types of individuals that could target a school. Threats are normally described as being external or internal. In this section, we're going to look at external threats. External threats are people from outside the school that may seek to cause harm. Online criminals. Criminals are generally interested in making money and are very good at identifying what can be monetized. They will steal and sell sensitive school data. They can also block access to IT systems and demand a money ransom to let you back in. They may also look to exploit weak school processes and may target members of staff that authorise school payments. This could involve taking advantage of how you log into the school IT systems and services. Organised criminals have the resources to perfect their approach. We are now going to watch two short video case studies. These are based on real events and demonstrate how the threat from cyber criminals have impacted schools. As we saw in the previous video, this school had their data encrypted and this resulted in the school having no access to its computer network or data for several days. The criminals began the scam by phoning the school and pretending to be from the Department for Education in England. It's worth noting, criminals might pretend to be from any education department in the UK, depending on what school they are targeting. As we saw in the previous video, this school was targeted by criminals using a phishing technique who wanted to steal money from parents and the school. This also led to the criminals using and selling on the parents' personal details for future attacks. This isn't just a problem for independent schools. Nurseries, academies, local authority schools and school suppliers have also fallen victim to this type of cyber fraud. Foreign governments. Foreign governments are generally interested in accessing sensitive or valuable information that may give them a strategic or political advantage. It is highly unlikely that a foreign government would directly target a school. However, schools can be caught up in cyber attacks by foreign governments that are untargeted. A good example of this was the WannaCry ransomware developed by North Korea 
which affected the NHS and other organisations in 2017. This attack was possible because there was a security vulnerability in Windows devices that allowed ransomware to run and spread very easily from one computer to another on the same network. Whilst this ransomware has been attributed to North Korea, it is not believed that they specifically targeted the NHS.